What's up, y'all? Advance here. So, the you know, there's more and more facts or more and more details coming out about this Tyree Nichols case. So, the uh, four officers or the five officers that um, you know that beat him within an inch of his life. Now, there's a rumor that's circulating the internet that's saying that the uh, one of the officers. Uh, Demetrius Haley targeted this man because he was dating his ex. So, that's a lot to unpack. Well, not really much. It's not really far-fetched. Um, I said in my short, I said, I hope that this isn't true. But if it was true, it would make a lot of sense because... Why else would you beat somebody the way that you beat them? Like they beat him like a like thug beating, you know, like like gang like a, like a gang bang or a gangster stomp or whatever. But the jump in, that's there we go. That's the word I was looking for. But the um, this is right here the textbook example again. If this is true, I assume that. They're doing the investigation now. They're um, examining all of these uh, details. But this is a textbook case of somebody not being able to let go. And this is a prime example of what happens when a man loses control of his emotions. So, in any case, let, let's, just, let's just talk about this. So, basically, Demetrius Haley, for whatever reason... Uh, he, that's however this came about. He was dating his ex, and for whatever reason, she broke up with him. Don't know why. I don't know these people, but yeah. So now he's been, you know he's been trying to get her back, but you know she's been because apparently she's been dating Tyree Nichols. You know, now, of course, that, you know, that seems pretty impossible. So, this man gets all in, her, in his feelings. Like, I don't know if this is a case of him just, uh, I, don't, I don't know if this is a case of, of it being a coincidence. But, like, it just seemed real, like, it, it's, it's too much of a coincidence, you know. But, they, so now... The question about the internet is, was this a hit? I don't think it was a hit. I think it was definitely a targeting situation, if this is to be true, because they said that he was that he was driving recklessly and they pulled him over because they pulled him over because he almost hit the he almost hit the one dude's car. So I'm a I'm a point all point all of this stuff out immediately. So they pulled him over. He said he walked up to the car and said, "Hey man, you good?" First of all, that's not how cops approach a vehicle. <laughs> you know, they approach it a little bit more, a uh, little bit more professional than that. But you know, I talked before about having a relation with the neighborhood. I guess so. That was him speaking. Um, speaking in, in a phrase in which he could understand and kind of humanizes him. If it happened, it didn't happen. That did not happen. All right, so that's all right. See, once again, lost control. But let me, let me reel it back in. That did not happen because we watched the body cam footage. Like, he y'all didn't walk up to him and, and ask him what was going on. Y'all ran up and dragged him out of the car. And first of all, y'all didn't pull him over. It looked like he just happened to stop at a traffic light and then y'all bum rushed him. You know, so, yeah, like, in any case, so, that so that was one. He, one, they lied about how he approached. Two, they didn't really pull him over. They, they just kind of, they caught him at a, at a stoplight because it looked like he was about to make a left turn. And then, three was how was you know how they 
how they beat him, you know, like, so, you know, like, so then, they pull, so then, of course, you know, they getting all up in their emotions, and plus, they're, they're pissed off because he ran, he made him run, and now he exposed how poor, how poor shape the, uh, this, the Memphis police uh, officers were on this elite task force unit, this elite gang task force unit. They ran 20 feet and was already out of gas. <laughs> like, so now you got additional, I guess, I don't think they had the force, the foresight for this, but now you got additional people on the internet like me just roasting the fuck out of these motherfuckers. But in any case, um, let me, let's go, let's go back to, let's go back to these, to these officers. So, um, yeah, like if I had said in the video, I hope this isn't true, but if it was true, I wouldn't be surprised. One, because I know that, you know, people are capable of, of such things. And two, that would explain why they beat him the way that they beat him. Still, no excuse for it. Because, like, he was compliant throughout the whole encounter. Well, well, at that, he got up and he ran. Yes, because they were doing the most. <laughs> like he said in the video. I mean, and they said, well, he should have complied. Okay, so what does the word all right mean? All right, all right, all right, all right. That's what he said. So get on the ground. I am on the ground. Lay on your stomach. How are you going to say lay on your stomach while the dude in front of him is preventing him from moving? He's trying to grasp the situation to find out why he's being handled the way that he's, that he's being handled. And no, cops don't have to, you know, they don't have to explain the shit to you. But you definitely owe an explanation for the amount of force that's being projected. Reckless driving. And when y'all ran up on him, he stopped. Even if he wasn't stopped at a stoplight and you had to pull him over, he was still stopped. You know, like usually when police react like that, it's in an instance where there's a weapon involved. You know, so yeah. And why does elite gang, this uh, elite gang uh, organized crime task force is pulling people over? I have no idea. That led me even more to believe that this was that this was a targeting instant, instance but I will say that they probably didn't mean to kill him they probably meant to beat the fuck out of him to send a message to the ex because that's what the other part of the rumor was was that the dude took a picture of Tyree Nichols slumped over writhing in pain and sent it to his ex now this hasn't come out yet but I definitely uh, can imagine that the um, that the officers that's doing the investigation are combing through this information, and then that will come out, and uh, that will come out soon. Because look, you got to look how long it took for them to release the body cam footage, and they said that they wanted to do that. They wanted to make sure that they got their witnesses in order and they got their statements right before they released it, because they don't want people to tailor their statements to what they saw in the video so yeah so there's that but this is a um this is just a case of you know a dude that didn't want to let go you know like i, I understand because i've been in that position before where um you know a chick broke up with me and i was like really like I was, she was done, but I wasn't, you know, I never did anything to her. I wanted to, you know, but you know, the, the, you know, the, the anger was there. You know, I wanted to, I wanted to fight her boyfriend. Well, no, I wanted to fight her boyfriend for a different reason, but uh, story time about that later. But, you know, like it's, it's just the case where, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta let go because there ain't nothing that you can do to better the situation. And this man didn't do that. 
again, if this is true, this is all speculation right now. So nothing, no official representative has come out and confirmed these facts to be true. But if it is, this is a bad look. And I will be the first one to say that men don't act like this. Cause shit, right now you got, you got uh, three fourths of the internet calling this man a simp. Everybody else is doing cooking and makeup tutorials, <laughs> you know. So, like, yeah, like it's, yeah, like it's, it's, it's just bad, bro. And then the, I heard about another instance with uh, Emmett Martin the third. You got to say the whole thing, uh, Emmett Martin the third, where he had um, had an encounter with two other guys that said that he you know he tackled them or they or they fled because they had a small amount of marijuana on them which would probably be a misdemeanor they evaded the police and went, oh well, advance well if they were so innocent why did they run okay it's been established by now that these cops don't like chasing people so there we go all right so they pulled so Dude, um, he jumped out the car, tried to run. Dude, Emmett Martin III slammed him into the, uh, grabbed him, slammed him into the ground, and pulled his gun out and said, "I will blow your effing head off." So, yeah, there, there is a, uh, there is that. But now that's starting to come to light, and anything, they're going through these officers' uh, uh, history with a fine tooth comb, and they're going to find some stuff. So. Yeah, the uh, the third dude, I forgot his name, but yeah, but he was the, the 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 white cop that was involved with it. He got placed on administrative leave. He hadn't been suspended. That was the dude in the first video whose whose camera that we was watching, and he was like, "I hope they stomp his ass," you know. So yeah, I, I figured it was only gonna be a matter of time before they got him, and if they didn't, that would have been a. a textbook example of favoritism and racial bias in the uh, in the police department but look all with, with all that being said there are good cops out there and you know good cops are afraid to speak up because of bullshit like this that happens and on top of that you know you you saw what happened with the two cops that um, that went online and basically said, hey, well, one cop said, hey, we don't have to violate people's rights. And then the other cop said, when evil goes on in my presence, I'm going to check it. And they and they both got suspended or the one guy got suspended and fired. And what well, they let's just say they both got fired. But in any case, post your comments down below. Let me know what you think about these new um, this new instance. And look, I don't want to hear why they ran or whatever the case of this, that, and other. When it comes to police situations, whether it's just, whether you feel it's justified or not, the punishment has to fit the crime. If he came swinging at him with a knife, okay, light him up like a Christmas tree. But if, if this was a case where there was no real clear and present threat, then yeah. The, the punishment does not fit. Let me know what y'all think. We're going to chop it up. I'm out.